The Benefits of a Lean Campaign, provided by Weber Systems Incorporated. Are you ready to go lean? For some reason, 92% of U.S. companies are not lean and have no intention of ever becoming lean. For a company who broke the tradition and adopted the lean philosophy, we are presenting actual documented benefits obtained from a successful lean campaign. This is a baseline metrics table represent a typical non-lean or MRP company that's going to transition to becoming lean. The profile here is very typical for our industry and in some cases it may even represent your company as well. There are $8 million in sales, their inventory turns are 3, the on-hand inventory is 2 million which represents 25% of their annual sales, total number of employees are 50, the revenue per employee is 160,000 which may sound impressive but we don't know if there's actually a profit margin there. Purchasing professionals we have one, AP invoice professionals we have one, and we have a part-time shipping professional. Now these areas are of, of great interest to our campaign so let's move on to the next slide. Inventory turns are a performance metric for your company's efficiency. The higher number of in, in inventory turns means the more efficient your company is. To increase inventory turns, you must buy less and more often. Buying less and more frequently means more transactions in three functional areas as I mentioned before. Purchasing, AP invoicing, shipping receiving department. Now let's look at this uh, table of a company that is transitioning to be lean. Now notice that this is estimated because the company is moving towards a lean campaign and they're not there yet. However, they have obtained twice the number of inventory turns. Their inventory has been reduced to 1.2 million, which is 40% down from what it was previously. Their total number of employees are now 40 as opposed to 50 with a reduction of 20%. Their revenue per employee is 200,000, up 40,000 per employee, which now is showing good signs of a successful lean movement. They've introduced 1,900 Kanban bins, and if you notice, the transactions between purchase order line items and invoices have doubled because of the improvement of inventory turns. The more inventory turns you have, the more transactions that take place and a constraint emerges in the ERP system where now they have two times as much employees that handle the additional transactions. A new constraint emerges. With the efficiencies obtained in production, a new system constraint emerges outside of the production area and within the corporate administrative process itself. Virtually every ERP system was designed for control and not efficiency. How well would the existing ERP system manage the additional transactions caused by efficiencies gained and a successful lean implementation? The host ERP system itself becomes the new process constraint. As this graph clearly shows that for three inventory turns, there's a labor amount position to handle those turns. However, when we double to six turns, we needed additional labor to handle the host ERP constraint. So this constraint is forcing more labor to be applied to because of those increased transactions in purchasing, receiving, and in AP invoices. So now let's look at this table. This table is, these are actual lean results obtained from getting rid of their labor-intensive ERP system and, and replacing it with our lean ERP system. Now look at the incredible results they have obtained. Their inventory returns are now seven times higher than it was at their starting point. Their perpetual on-hand inventory is $78,000, which is less than 1% uh, of their annual sales. Their number of employees are 29. Their revenue per employee is $275,000 per employee. That's, that's up $115,000. They have no changes in their Kanban bins. Their purchase order line items and the invoices have gone up almost seven times. Yet, if you look at the purchasing professionals and AP professionals and the receiving professionals, there's no change in labor. Our ERP lean system absorbed the additional transactions that were uh, obtained from increased inventory turns. The impact of increased transactions as a result of obtaining increased inventory turns are absorbed through automation and lean concepts designed into our lean ERP system. As this graph clearly shows, 
21 turns without our lean ERP system represents this much labor as opposed to 21 turns with our lean ERP represent this much labor, which actually is your starting labor when you started at three inventory turns. So as a result, the savings in administrative overhead or your staffing is clearly shown using our lean ERP system. In conclusion, lean manufacturing practices with our lean ERP system software provides a net corporate throughput achieving incredible results with the least impact to your organization. Thank you. This presentation was provided by Weber Systems Incorporated.